Welcome to New Cloud Offerings. This e-learning course describes Palo Alto Network's logging service. The logging service provides cloud-based, centralized log storage and aggregation for your on-premise and virtual private cloud and public cloud firewalls. Panorama provides the interface for the logs stored in logging service. From Panorama, you can see an aggregated view of all logs stored in logging service. You can generate reports and perform log analysis and forensics on the log data. The logging service enables reporting, log viewing, and other analytics-based applications on the customer's logs. The service offers you flexible options to expand storage and log ingestion rates on demand without purchasing new hardware or manually provisioning new virtual machines. The logging service provides regionalization. There are logging facilities in Europe and the Americas. You choose where to forward your data based on your location. Logging is critical to maintain a strong security posture. You use logs for analysis, reporting, forensics, and auditing. The logging service is a prerequisite to Global Protect Cloud service. You need to subscribe to the logging service in addition to the Global Protect Cloud service. Initiates queries, generates reports, and analyzes logs stored in the cloud via Panorama. Isolates your logs to avoid cross-contamination and stores all logs in multiple locations for redundancy. This slide illustrates the differences between a traditional log collector and the logging service. With a log collector, you own the hardware and perform deployment activities. There are no cloud compliance requirements. Procurement, installation, and setup requires planning and setup time. The log collector supports firewalls with the usual panorama version constraints. In contrast, when the logging service is used, deployment is easy. There are no upgrades or maintenance and performance is predictable. The logging service has built-in log redundancy and it enables Palo Alto Network's application framework. The Threat Intelligence Cloud collects vast amounts of valuable data from the global customer base of Palo Alto Networks and other sources. The application framework allows third parties to develop and deploy security applications that can leverage this data in a secure, consistent, and efficient manner. Here's a brief overview of the application framework. It enables third-party partner applications and customer applications to be deployed on Palo Alto Network's Threat Intelligence Cloud. It has a single logical repository of all data collected by the Threat Intelligence Cloud. It can host applications developed by Palo Alto Networks and applications developed by third parties. It uses the logging service. Light Cyber is an example of a Palo Alto Networks cloud-based behavioral analytics application. The following steps describe the logging service activation workflow. First, you activate the logging service license. Next, the customer service portal makes an API call to the logging service to provision your account. Then, you install the plugin on Panorama, retrieve the license, and authenticate with a one-time password, or OTP. Finally, Panorama pushes the configuration to licensed devices and services. Note, there are fully qualified domain names, FQDNs, and ports to which you must allow traffic to ensure that Panorama and the firewalls can successfully connect to the logging service. Before an organization can collect Palo Alto Network's device logs in the logging service, Panorama must be licensed to make this connection and access the data to include it in its logging data displays and reporting. The licensing process begins when you register the logging service license authorization code in the customer support portal. Navigate to the location shown here and enter your authorization code. This entry invokes a wizard that leads you through the rest of the licensing process. Before the firewall can forward logs to the logging service, you must add the firewall as a managed device on Panorama so that Panorama can provision the certificate that the firewall needs to securely connect to the logging service. You need to perform the following steps, which are explained in the next few slides. Step 1. 
configure NTP so that the firewalls can stay in sync with the logging service. Then add the firewalls as managed devices on Panorama. Step two, from Panorama, select Panorama Device Deployment License. Click Refresh and then select the desired firewalls from the list. Panorama retrieves the license and pushes the logging service licenses from the managed firewalls. Step 3. From Panorama, create a template and add the firewalls that will be forwarding logs to the logging service. Step 4. Enable the firewalls in the template to send logs to the logging service, and then select the region where you want the logs stored. Select Device, Setup, Management. Select the template that contains the firewalls that you want to forward logs to the logging service. Edit the logging service settings. Select the Enable Logging Service checkbox as shown in this screen capture. Select the region where you want to forward logs for the firewalls associated with this template, and then click OK. Configure interfaces and zones in the template. Step 5. Configure the forwarding of system, configuration, user ID, HIP match, and correlation logs. Select Device, Log Settings. Select the template that contains the firewalls that you want to forward logs to the logging service. In the screen capture, for each log type that you want to forward to the logging service, add a match list filter. Give it a name, define a filter, optional, select the panorama slash logging service checkbox, and then click OK. Step 6. Create a device group and push log forwarding settings to the firewalls that will be using the logging service. Step 7. Create and attach a log forwarding profile to each policy rule for which you want to forward logs. Select the device group containing the firewalls that are forwarding logs to the logging service. Select Objects, Log Forwarding, and add a profile. In the Log Forwarding Profile Match list, add each log type that you want to forward. The following example enables forwarding of traffic, threat, wildfire submission, URL filtering, data filtering, and authentication logs. Select Panorama slash Logging Service as the forward method to enable the firewalls in the device group to forward the logs to the logging service. You will be able to monitor the logs and generate reports from Panorama. Create basic security policy rules in the device group you just created. In each rule you create, select Actions and select the log forwarding profile you created for forwarding logs to the logging service. Until the firewall has interfaces and zones and a basic security policy, it will not let any traffic through. Only traffic that matches a security policy rule will be logged by default. Step 8. Commit your changes to Panorama and push them to the template and the device group you created. Step 9. Verify that the firewall logs are being forwarded to the logging service. From Panorama, select Monitor, Logs, and select a log type to view. To verify that the logs you are seeing are from the logging service, run the following CLI command. Show logging dash status. Now that you completed this module, you should be able to describe Palo Alto Network's logging service. Thank you.